Hey everybody, today I'm going to be making taco soup and the first time that Randy and I ever had this was at a church potluck and we fell in love with it and I make it periodically and it's just a really good hearty um, soup. So I'm going to go ahead and bring you down and we're going to get to making it. I've already took it, it's about a pound and a half of hamburger and I've browned it and to that I'm gonna add green pepper which I've cut fairly small some pieces are a little bigger than others because that was a thick um, green pepper and then the onion is cut um, fairly small it looks kind of big but if you take the individual little pieces and break them apart. You'll see it's fairly small. So what I want to do is just saute my onion in with the hamburger meat and get those flavors kind of mixed together and all. And once I have that done, because I know this could be kind of boring. Uh, I'll come back and we'll go on to the next step. So this is cooked enough and the green pepper and onion smells real good and it's ready to go into the soup. I won't be able to pull this over as far as I would like because this burner's hot. But I'm gonna place this meat and vegetables into the crock pot and some of it onto the stove That as close as I can without burning it. See if I can move this over some. Hopefully you can see that. So to that I'm going to add a packet of taco seasoning. Just put the whole packet in there. Then I'm gonna, wrong thing, I'm gonna put some cilantro. I'm, I know a lot of people don't like cilantro and if you don't like it, you know, just don't put it in, but I happen to be a fan of it. Um, I have this kind of taco seasoning that I'm gonna add a little bit too because I'm sure that the flavors are somewhat different and so we'll try that and then I'm going to add some cumin. You add what flavors you want to yours. You do not have to go by exactly what I put. So I'm going to give this a stir. And then to that, I'm going to add a large can of petite dust tomatoes. I'm going to pour it in here and then I'll show you the can. Petite dust tomatoes. It's the uh, 28 ounce can. And here are some diced tomatoes and they have basil, garlic, and oregano in them and that's okay. It's not going to hurt a thing. So then I'm going to put a can of corn with the uh, juice in it. I'm going to put a can of black beans and I uh, poured the 
that thick broth off and I rinsed it. And then I'm going to add a can, or I added a can of dark red kidney beans. Also, I'm going to put some of my um, garlic that I did. If y'all have not made this, you should really try it because it is night and day difference on how good this makes your recipes that you use garlic in. I should have got a spoon there. I put a big old mound of garlic in there. Probably a fourth of a cup. And then to all that, I have two cups of water in here. And I got this instant broth beef packet at Ollie's. It comes in a box with about 12 in it, I believe. But I'm gonna, this is hot water. And I'm putting it in there. Then I'm gonna stir it up. And if, if at any time I feel like there's just not enough broth in here, I'll make another one of those packets with water. But this is what it's looking like. And I'm gonna let it go on high for about two hours to let those flavors kind of meld together. And then I'm gonna cut it on low until we decide uh, that we're ready to eat and this is really some good uh, taco soup and if you can think of any more vegetables that you would like to put in your taco soup by all means you do it and I used this crock pot yesterday in a, a recipe I did that I Put up and I really love this crock pot it uh, I just like everything about it it's so simple to use and um, easy cleanup and I just really like it so I'm gonna put the lid up I'm gonna put it on high I've had it plugged in today but I'm um, just going to leave it sitting there. And when it's done, we'll come back and see what we have. Okay, y'all, the taco soup is ready. And I'll just take you down so you can see. It smells really good. And there it is. This lid comes off if you need it to. So that's another... Uh, feature but here's what it looks like it's real nice and thick with the vegetables and it's got a nice color to it with all the spices and all in it so I'm gonna put some in the bowl this would be good with cornbread or crackers and tonight I think it's gonna be crackers this is for my son. I'm just going to show you the bowl. There it is. And as I told you before, my husband and I really uh, loved it when we had it at the church. And it's just a really good, hearty uh, soup. 
and you can put more vegetables in it, different things, whatever you desire for your family. So that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope you come back again real soon. Take care, do something good for yourself, do something good for somebody else. Always remember you may be the only person that pays attention to someone and makes them feel that they're worth something. And so with that being said, you have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.